Let's turn to Syria. The conflict of the last seven years has seen the displacement of more than 650,000 refugees to Jordan, and these are just official figures. The actual may be much higher, closer to 1 million according to some estimates. This means an additional 15% to the Jordanian population, and this puts an insane amount of pressure on the country's resources, its water, electricity, food supplies. Everything is strained. But the refugees are literally seeing the light now as solar energy is powering their camps. Take a look. This is the Zatari camp in the north of Jordan, about 60 kilometers from the capital, Amman. The kingdom hosts one of the largest colonies of Syrian refugees. Their hopes of returning to their war-ravaged country are slim. This is what is left of many cities in Syria. They're ghost towns. This is what awaits these refugees back home. And two, only when the war is over. Therefore, they have to try and improve on their present living conditions. With about 100,000 refugees in this camp alone, living arrangements are precarious. Only recently, electricity was made available to the residents for a few hours a day. But that will increase as the camp switches to solar power. Now a solar power plant consisting of 4,000 solar panels the size of 33 football fields is generating electricity for this camp. It's the largest ever built in a refugee camp all over the world. Uh, the size of it is 12.9 megawatt peak. Uh, this solar plant uh, will be able to supply the refugees of Zatari of, uh, with a total of uh, 12 to 14 hours of electricity uh, per day, uh, which uh, before the solar plant we used to supply an average of eight hours. The new solar farm is not only going to help refugees, it will also help the Jordanian government reduce its energy bill. The country plans to generate 20% of its energy from renewable sources by 2025. But that's not all. The Zatari refugee camp has been built by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, or UNHCR. This means it runs on a budget. The new solar installation can save the camp as much as $5.8 million every year. The money can be reinvested in improving living quarters, sanitation and scant water resources. That would indeed make the sunshine in the otherwise gloomy life of these refugees. Bureau Report, we are.